So today we are going to be talking about armpits and irritated armpits and deodorants. It's going to be a good one. So basically, I recently tried out a deodorant that really, really irritated my armpits. I ran out of my favourite and as I'm sure you guys would expect, I just have so many beauty products that when I run out of a favourite, it's not often that I will go out and repurchase that favour, I will instead like look at things I've been sent and try and use those up. So when I ran out of my favourite deodorant, I just like rooted around and tried something new and it just like brought back all that stress from trying to find a good vegan, cruelty free, natural deodorant. I know I'm not the only one with this issue, I know <laughs> that this is one of the biggest struggles when going to cruelty free beauty is to try and find a deodorant that you love and I just want to talk to you guys about which one I love because I am going back to it. It is reasonably sustainable. It's not like plastic free, zero waste sustainable, but it's it's not bad. It's somewhere on the bar. And I also want to talk you through some deodorants that I do not love. And we're also going to talk about that wild deodorant. This one I haven't used recently, but um, I do have opinions on it. And I feel like this one I've just seen a lot on Instagram. It seems like every influencer has been sent one. A lot of people have been on paid campaigns as well. I have not, but yeah, I thought I'd give some feedback on that just whilst I'm doing a deodorant video. And I just find it weird I've never done one, considering how big a struggle it is to find the right deodorant. And I guess I didn't realise how much I love my deodorant until it ran out. But yeah, okay, let's start off with the offender. So when I ran out, I decided I would try out this one from AKT. I think it's pronounced ACT. They emailed me a few months ago offering to send me one of their deodorants, which cost £18, so definitely not something I wanted to pay for myself. So it was nice to have that gifted. And also I have a friend, Christina, who performs on the West End and she swears by this stuff. She's also vegan and cruelty free. As someone who is incredibly active, she says that this, like no other, keeps her fresh. So it came with a glowing recommendation, but I think this is the important thing to know. Not all of us are the same, not all of us sweat the same. We don't react the same to different deodorants, but this really, really irritated me like really badly. There's so many great things about it. Obviously it works for some people. It is plastic free, it's aluminium free, but it is not for me. I had a few problems with it to be honest, but let's take a look at my armpit. <laughs> I kind of pretty much stopped wearing deodorant two days ago because I got a really bad rash just because I had a really bad breakout from using this. And then following the breakout, I think I just tried to use too many skincare products on it to try and like help it heal. And then I got a rash and I don't think the rash I got was too related, but like, oh, it doesn't even look that bad. Can you see like that massive spot? It's really died down, but that I got like this massive ingrown hair after using this deodorant for a week. It really has calmed down so much. Here we go, let's go. See what I mean? So I've got that spot there and then I've got a few more spots above um, and then I've got some below and I think this might have been from me trying to sort it all out but definitely like I just got a lot of spots around here, a lot of irritation really getting up close and personal. But you see, it's just not a happy armpit. And I don't wanna blame this deodorant for all of that, but I used to struggle with like ingrown hairs a lot around the armpit when I was using deodorants like this. Let's just take a look at this deodorant. This deodorant's kinda of like a paste. It's a lot easier to get out now it's warmer. In the winter, it was almost impossible. It comes out as a paste. It's a nice aluminum tube, so that is plastic free and then you kind of can just rub it in. And as you can see, it does melt really nicely, but the problem for me is that I just seem to have super sensitive armpits, and every time I've tried to use a balm or whatever, I get really bad ingrown hairs. I think it's just the way it sits on the skin. With this product as well, if I put on a little amount, it felt nice on the skin, but I'd end up smelling. And then if I put on more, it felt like it was clogging my armpit, but at least I didn't stink. And like I said, in the winter, it was just really hard to squeeze out that tube. It's pretty cold here in the UK, and I just really struggled getting it out and getting it to melt my skin. Whereas today it's actually pretty warm, so that was a really easy task. So yeah, just for me, Balms do not work on my armpits because my armpit skin is just too sensitive. It can't handle it. It's also quite a fragrant deodorant and it has neroli in it, which smells beautiful, but it could also be the fragrance that's bothering me. But I have had a history of like breakout, clogged pores, ingrown hairs, spots just generally on my armpit from using balms and putties and stuff like that. So all in all, I just can't be using those anymore. Okay, and now let's talk about wild refill. And again, I just really wanted to mention them because I was doing a video on deodorant and I feel like this has been like like the deodorant I've seen advertised the most. So I thought I'd just give my feedback on it. Clearly I have not been using it. I'm not a huge fan of it. They cost, what is it? I just had a look at the prices. This was sent to me, this was gifted, but it costs 25 pounds if you get a one-off purchase and that will give you a case and then three refills. So the deodorant, I can't remember how it comes out guys. It was quite difficult to construct to be honest, but I'm also not someone that reads the instructions. Normally that gets me fine. 
in life but i was really struggling but i think you like twist it here yeah to let it go up and down and the idea here is that you're meant to kind of like rub it on your underarm and the deodorant comes off i just found that quite difficult to use it would be really hard to know how much you got on and it would kind of drag it all oh, that fell out so here you go this is what it looks like let's remove the hair so you have a block like that and then this is not how you put it in follow the instructions it's really not that complicated to construct it's just not super intuitive so that's not really a flaw of the product that was more a flaw of me i didn't even know i'd done it wrong i'd put it on my instagram stories and when i thought i got it right they messaged me being like you've got that wrong honey and i was like oh <laughs> but it's really helpful of them just um yeah just pay attention to what you're actually meant to be doing when you construct it if you want to go for this i have seen so many people rave about it so you know maybe still consider it but for for me no again ooh, fuck. we're just gonna keep this out for now again that's a me flaw not a product flaw i'm pretty sure again it's summer so this is working a bit better than it did in the colder weather but it's hard to know really how much to put on my sort of armpits it clogged my pores a bit and led to spots in the winter in particular it really would drag on the skin and when you've got really sensitive armpits just little things like that can really irritate them so it did not work for me because of that the good news is we're about to get on to the one that i do love so i have my favorite deodorants and i will not be deviating from them ever again i just want my armpits to be happy what works for me is this sort of the earth melon and cucumber effective natural deodorant spray it's vegan it's cruelty free you can find them in holland and barrett it smells delicious but it doesn't irritate my skin there is just so much i love about it it does need a bit of a clean so i finished this a while ago and it's just been like at the bottom of a box and i just managed to find it for this video this was my app absolute favorite i love that it's a spray there might be a little bit left in it no it really pumped that dry it's just incredible it had such good protection i never had to worry about smelling and it was so gentle on my skin it smelled lovely i think it's because my skin on my face really cleared up a lot over lockdown so i assumed that maybe my armpits were maybe more of a like i'm taking better care of myself over lockdown change whereas switching deodorants helped me realize that it was probably actually down to the deodorants i used so like i said i ran out of this one ages ago but i also had this little DF one, which works just as well. I think I prefer this scent, but the roll-ons are really nice and I like a roll-on. Again, it's really nice and gentle on my armpits, which are very easily irritated, which is why I've struggled so much with the other ones. Also, these aren't necessarily completely aluminium-free. Um, they're free from aluminium chlorohydrate, which is the one most people try to avoid. And they go into a bit more detail about the aluminium they do use and why it's safe on their website. I don't know all that much about aluminium i will leave a link down below for you to do some more reading i don't really want to be regurgitating stuff which i only half know i prefer to go aluminium free of my deodorants but i will leave a link down below for you to read like something a bit more official than me narrowing here about something i can half remember this one also worked to treat on my armpits just the same like really gentle didn't cause any irritation and kept me smelling fresh that's all i want it's a very short list and obviously i want them to be vegan and cruelty free and preferably sustainable which is when you're probably noticing that these two are sadly plastic i do have a little peace offering there this one is actually refillable don't think the roll-on is but the spray one is so you can just refill this and you're good to go so i just ordered from Holmes and barrett a refill i ordered it online i think i had to pay 1.99 for delivery to their store it could have been 2.99 for delivery home but it gave me something to do i, I like going for walks so it gave me a purpose to go all the way to Holmes and barrett so this will fill up this bottle five times which in the end uses 60 percent less plastic than the equivalent of buying five of these it's obviously not plastic free but i'm at peace with this i do not mind using this amount of plastic to make sure that my armpits are healthy happy and smell fine like literally i just don't want to fuck about with my armpits anymore how much did that cost me give me a sec so this cost 5.99 to get it new this cost 22.49 off Hondon Barrett so for every refill it costs £4.50 also I used like one of those discount apps at checkout so I managed to save myself a bit of money at Hondon Barrett so it only cost me 20 quid and this will last me a really long time I'm just I'm at peace now I am happy with my deodorant I'm happy with my pits they are still needing a bit of recovery they are not quite happy yet I'm happy with the journey we're going on and the road we've committed to they just need a bit more time to recover. And also, especially with summer coming, like one, our armpits are more on show, and two, it's easier to get sweaty and smelly. And I just want to know that I have a deodorant I can trust 
to get me through the summer. I just forgot how much I used to get ingrown hairs on my armpits and spots on my armpits. I forgot how bad I used to get it until I just tried a deodorant balm again. Yeah, like literally if anyone else has the same armpits as me and I have been able to save you the stress of bumps and ingrown hairs from using balms, I I'm just gonna feel really happy that I've made your life that much better because oh, it just stresses me out so much. Literally a week of using this, my armpits just got so unhappy with me, so, so bad. It got to the point where I decided to not wear deodorant. It's been hot the last couple of days, but it's okay. Like I said, I found my peace. I found my happy solution and I love salt of the earth. It's just such a nice deodorant. It smells so good. I was just trying to get a whiff of it. I haven't filled up my deodorant yet. I'm waiting to do it as a reel, I think. I really want to get the word out there and set my proclamation of love for salt of the earth out. I really am shooting my foot about any advertising of deodorants, but I don't think I've once been paid to advertise the deodorant yet so I doubt anyone's gonna start anytime soon but I feel like I already limit myself so much it's like Nicole check yourself but damn it whatever I can't open this I feel like a child but anyway thank you for watching I hope this hasn't been too much of a weird deodorant run feel free to use the comments to help each other out as well like what works for my armpits won't necessarily work for yours so if it sounds like you have similar armpits this should be helpful if you've got completely different armpits I'm sorry I can't help hopefully you can help each other down below like list which deodorants work really well for you which ones haven't worked for you and kind of like be detailed about it and then hopefully other people can find their armpit twins and help each other out you know what i mean i know on instagram whenever i do a post on deodorants everyone's so helpful and everyone learns a lot and shares a lot and it's just nice god i just can't wait for my armpits to clear up they just are so sad right now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day i hope your armpits are happy i hope they are enjoying their life i hope that they are enjoying their deodorant i just don't feel like i talk about my armpits enough on here and here is the one video where we are dedicating to talking about armpits. You got to see all my hair stubs, all of my spots. We had a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Please do hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It definitely helps me out with YouTube. I want to say thank you to all my patrons. I really appreciate all this support. And if you are also interested in signing up and supporting me over here on Vegan Beauty Girl, I'll leave a link down below. Okay, gonna go now. Bye.